So let's go through how to set up Tractor with Time Code Vinyl. So there's a Time Code Vinyl there. It doesn't have music on it. It has a control signal. So if I just play the vinyl, let me see if you can hear it. Don't know if you can hear that. But that's what Tractor needs to control an MP3. So it's just like a normal vinyl. Obviously it doesn't have music on it, it's got a time code. It's a system called DVS, Digital Vinyl System, that Tractor uses. Takes a, takes a signal on here and then interprets it and then and manipulates the MP3. So it's exactly like using vinyl. It comes in a sleeve like that. I think there's been later later re releases of this time, time code vinyl from Tractor. This is an early one. I'm not sure. I need to check the website. So if we go to Tractor to set it up, you have to make sure it's a track deck plus scratch control. There's two icons here, two buttons. That's time code CD, but you need to make sure you click that one. So it's time code vinyl. So let's load a track. Let's load that one there. So if we put the needle on the record and hit play, it should start playing. Oh, there we go. It should start playing the MP3. You can see here the scope, the signal that it's receiving from the Tenko signal on the vinyl. Signal. If I click once on this bit here, shows you the record spinning around. Click it again, shows you the scope. So you can do the same things. Let's see if I can show you tractor running. So if I hit stop, stops the MP3. If I hit play. further down into the song, further again, then back to the beginning. And that's it, there's not much to it, it's very very simple to use, I hardly use it myself, I prefer to mix with the real stuff, but if you've got the option to use it and you love mixing with vinyl, give it a shot.